I'm Ilian St. Hilaire, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Mesh Central support for push notification using Notify. One of the interesting new features of Mesh Central that's been added in the last few weeks is uh, the idea of supporting messaging systems like um, you know, various messaging applications and uh, enabling users to register a messaging application for receiving notifications from Mesh Central. And this is super useful because there's a whole bunch of things that could happen on Mesh Central on your account, on devices you manage, and you want to get notifications and you want to get notifications in the way or using the application that is the most uh, familiar and useful to you. And so um, today we're going to take a look at one of the systems that is supported. So first of all, uh, here's the standard demonstration. My server's on the uh, top left here, it's running in console mode. I have the, the uh, web page on the uh, bottom right. But uh, before I go into the demo too much, I want to take a look at slides that I have. So uh, recently, Mesh Central has added a bunch of uh, notification systems. SMS was the original one that was added. But then there's a whole bunch of other ones that were added later. And so this one, um, for this video, we're going to take a look at uh, NTFI. It's actually uh, pronounced not notify, if I pronounce it correctly. Anyway, and, and what it allows you to do, well, uh, is to send uh, notifications to users. And so the users will first need to register with their account, their notification, uh, their notify um, publishing uh, topic. And then uh, Mesh Central will send a code to confirm that you're really receiving this and that uh, everything's okay. And then you will um, you'll have your account enabled. And for this system to be uh, enabled, all you need to do in the config.json is go into add a messaging section at the root of the config.json, and then you just say net, uh, NTFI true. So that's all you need to do to enable the system. Okay, and by the way, I was, uh, I was uh, told about Notify through GitHub, and so if you search for uh, the uh, NTFI on uh, your search engine, you'll see it's ntfi.sh is the website. And basically you can uh, uh, subscribe for notifications and you can post notifications on a given topic. And so there's different, there's applications you can uh, download that will allow you to subscribe to these topics. And then there is, um, there is a, um, you know, REST API you can use to send, um, emit events on those topics. So that's how it works here. So what I'm going to do for this demonstration is I'm going to first go to Mesh Central. And if you go to my account, you'll notice that my account security here, there is no uh, messaging setup link. It's not there. And, and the reason for that is I have not put notify true on my uh, config.json. So uh, you look at my config.json here, I have a section called messaging. And here, here I'm going to add, I'm going to remove the underscore basically to activate NTFI true. Now there's, you can support multiple messaging systems in Mesh Central simultaneously. So you can, um, you can add notify plus pushover plus, you know, uh, call me bot and others, and you can all support them at the same time. But app, but users can only register one of the services uh, with their account. So you can't, you know, as a user, get notifications through multiple paths. You will you will only have to uh, you will have to select one path to get your notifications. So I'm going to set up notify true here, and as soon as I set up at least one messaging system inside Mesh Central, so in case this one, so I'm going to stop and restart the server. There we go. And now when I go into my account, you'll see man manage messaging is the link here. So I can click on that. And then when uh, the user clicks on this, 
you can select which service you want to receive messages on. And so right now, Mesh Central is only set up with uh, Netify because I, I enabled it, of course, in the config.json. And so there it is. So what you do is, you, and by the way, there's also a link here, free service at netify.sh. You can click on this and get access to the web page that I showed you before. And you are prompted for a handle here. So this is a, a string that Mesh Central will post your, the notifications to, and you need to, um, you need to load an application or something to receive those notifications. So what I'm gonna, now normally you would use a mobile app from iOS or Android to receive the notif those notifications. I'm going to use the web uh, application here. So I'm gonna grab the website. I'm just gonna make another, uh, uh, detach this frame here, click on web app. And then uh, you'll see here that I'm already listening to Mesh Central. I'm actually gonna delete this, unsubscribe. And then you can, I'm gonna click on subscribe to a topic. And then I'm gonna subscribe to a topic uh, to receive messages. Now, the, the topic name here is also like a password. So obviously, if you use something too, um, uh, too obvious, then anybody else can, can also subscribe to that string and receive those, um, those messages. So I'm gonna type mesh central one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna use this as my subscription topic. So I'm gonna say subscribe, and here we go. We have the, um, I have my subscription for uh, Mesh Central 1234, so I can receive messages here. Now, again, I would use something ver you know, stronger, like uh, Mesh Central and then some kind of random string or something, uh, so that you're the only one who will ever receive those, uh, those notifications. Okay, so I've subscribed to um, Mesh Central 1234. You can do that in the website here, but you can, I recommend you do that on uh, your mobile phone. And then you paste that there. This is the, the handle you want to uh, subscribe, you want to use. You say okay. And what will happen is Mesh Central will send you a verification code. And this is the code you just got. You just copy this code here, and it basically lets Mesh Central, kind of confirms to Mesh Central that you are truly receiving messages on that, uh, on that topic. So I'm gonna say okay here, and you're gonna see that the uh, manage messaging now has a little checkbox next to it, it confirming that your account is set up with, um, with messaging. Now, if I click on this, you'll see verified handle, and notify, and then the, the, uh, the messaging, uh, topic that is uh, be going to be used. You can remove, if you want to you know, not get messaging anymore, you want to set up a new service or whatever, you can remove this messaging and start over. Uh, but I, here I got, I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm, I'm all done. Okay, now what you can do is once you've got messaging set up on your account, well, if you're an administrator, and this is only if you're an administrator, when you click on my users and look at all the users, you will see that one of the users here, or every user that has a messaging uh, uh, account set up, or messaging set up on their account, then there'll be this little bubble here and you can hover and say Ver verified messaging account. You can click on this, click on message, say hello, okay, and it will send the hello to that user. Uh, the other thing that's interesting is that you went in going in my account, you can say uh, notification settings. Actually, no, this is not what I want. I want to go to a, a device group. Say, for example, my uh, lab computers here. So I'm just going to get rid of this. You click on lab computers for a device group, and you'll see notifications. And you can click on this, and you can say, I want to receive notifications when uh, a device connects and disconnects or requests for help. This is with Mesh Central Assistant. So you, you say OK to these. And then it says messaging three. So there's three notification events for messaging. And so whenever a computer connects or disconnects or requests for help, then um, whatever the user types for help request or whatever, that will be sent to your notification here. So this is for the entire device group, or I'm gonna remove this. You can pick a very a specific device. For example, I have uh, my television here. 
I can click on notifications and I can click and opt to only receive notifications on my on Notify here or whatever I'm subscribed to for help requests in this, on, but only for this specific device. And so that's um, here I got it registered. So this is really good because um, if you have a device group that you want to monitor when devices connect, disconnect, or, or get um, ask for help, um, then you can get that, you can subscribe to that, and then on your phone, on your mobile device, you'll get an immediate notification when those events happen. Uh, one more thing I want to mention is that notifications for, uh, so for device connections and disconnections. So if you are doing uh, notifications by email uh, for device connections and disconnections, Mesh Central will group all the devices that connect and disconnect over a, time, a five minute time span and then mail you that. But for messaging, it will group notifications for, um, for all the devices that connected and disconnected for one minute and then send you a notification on your, um, on your registered uh, notification app. So that means that for device connections and disconnections, at most you'll get one message, uh, one notification per minute, you know, and it will tell you each minute, here's the list of devices that connected and disconnected. Uh, for email, that that is five minutes. So, uh, so basically, the nice thing about that is, even if there's hundreds of mess of devices connecting and disconnecting very quickly, you're not going to get a hundred messages on you know a uh, hundred notifications. You're just going to get one per minute at most, uh, and there will basically be a summary of uh, all the uh, devices that have connected and disconnected. Anyway, hopefully that was. Um, that was good. This is just one of the many messaging services that have been added to meshcentral.com recently, or meshcentral recently, and hopefully you like it. Thank you very much. Have a great day.